Hello everybody, welcome to IZD EWF repair and this time uh, my dual disk drive uh, model 3040 which is uh, very similar to a 4040 actually um, quit working, I mean not really quit working but the drive zero doesn't uh, read anymore the disks while I was uh, working on uh, the patch 2001 I just noticed it that uh, drive zero stopped working so I really opened uh, this uh, um, dual disk drive tried to clean the head but it doesn't, didn't help uh, very much so let's see what we find inside here are the two drives that are extracted from the case because at this stage it's easier to work with the uh, drives remove it uh, before removing the drives uh, I obviously tried to swap these two connectors this is the head of drive 0 head of drive 1 the analog board is mounted on drive 1 then this is the motor control and head control and stepper motor for drive 0 and this is a spindle motor and uh, stepper control for, for drive 1 so if I swap the two head connectors and the two control um, connectors I can understand if it's a bad drive or bad electronics on board now swapping the two drives uh, so these two and these two produce an error on drive 1 so the, the, the drive uh, is an error the, the actual mechanic uh, has an error of course first of all I can I also check it the, the coil continuity between uh, this contact and all the others you have to read uh, something like uh, well 18 to 25 ohms and the head are both okay so it's not a head problem and what I found it's um, this driver it sounds different it's rotating uh, much faster than the other and, and I will show uh, what happens when I connect one on the or the other Anyway, before we really begin, uh, this is a simple basic program that I use uh, to continuously test a uh, disk drive and it just issues uh, the high command plus the drive number which can be 0 or 1 and prints the error uh, if there is an error otherwise it just prints 0 ok and just start over so in this way the drive is continuously rotating and accessing track uh, 18 so I can uh, check various signals and see what happens this is the result on the bad drive I have always 20 error on track 18 and sector 0 of course it's trying to read the directory and block allocation map actually um, so let's see what we can try on a dual drive like this here is my program in loop on the drive 0 that I connected and you see the spindle doesn't Stabilize at all. This is the minimum velocity that minimum speed that I can uh, obtain by turning the multi turn trim, and uh, it's way too fast. So there must be really something bad, but it's not many components. I guess it's probably the uh, frequency to voltage converter I see well, this is the working drive and the inner tachometer is uh, a pain uh, steel 
because I'm on a 50 hertz country and I'm using a regular neon lamp with no normal magnetic ballast so the problem is obviously in uh, this little board but um, check it quite uh, well, most of the components that I could check values of resistors diodes change this capacitor which was actually originally a um, aluminium uh, electrolytic like this one but I uh, put a uh, uh, synthetic one this is a plastic uh, dielectric which is more reliable than these small electrolytics and it has the same value of course and in this place it can be uh, substituted uh, in place of an electrolytic it's much bigger but uh, size doesn't matter there is plenty of space there but other than that there is no obvious uh, problem but uh, of course I cannot completely test this uh, integrated circuit which is the uh, frequency to voltage converter that senses the spindle pul pulses uh, made by a uh, magnetic uh, rotating uh, uh, and pick it up by probably a um, hot sensor and produces a voltage to regulate uh, the, the the voltage on the motor with uh, this is the driver trans driver transistor to the motor and this is a multi turn uh, trimmer to to set the, the correct speed uh, this is at the minimum but the speed is uh, way higher than uh, than normal of course the first thing uh, to do is obtain the schematic of the little PCB and this is uh, actually the Shugart SA400 uh, but it's uh, the same uh, PCB mounted on this uh, Commodore uh, drive that, he, that Commodore uses but it's a Shugart SA390 which is just as uh, 400 uh, stripped uh, of uh, most of the analog uh, uh, electronics because Commodore made uh, um, its own uh, uh, analog board to, to drive the heads and uh, everything else on, the, on this uh, five, uh, five and a quarter inch uh, drive mechanics so this is the motor drive uh, this is the uh, frequency to voltage converter chip and so on so we'll look at this schematic and try to understand what's wrong I'm checking the various pins of the integrated circuit the frequency to voltage converter this is the pin number two of the good unit and according to the data sheet it should have um, symmetrical charge and discharge of the capacitor which is connected to this pin and indeed the waveform looks uh, enough symmetric let's see on the bad drive this is the same pin 2 of the bad drive and the waveform is not symmetric here I think I need to change this into red circuit I don't don't see how a capacitor could fail in this way um, so I don't even try to change the capacitor I guess or maybe I will check with uh, the capacitor and see if it's okay okay I just wanted to clarify why I think the integrated circuit is bad um, better than what I found uh, on uh, pin 2 of the bad drive as you can see on pin 2 there is only uh, one capacitor going to ground 
Uh, this is the timing capacitor. This is the uh, big uh, orange one in the, in the PCB. And let's see what the data sheet of this chip says about this capacitor. Okay, the important part is uh, uh, the timing capacitor is either charged or discharged linearly between the two voltages what difference is uh, VCC divided by 2 now on the good chip uh, we have seen the, the waveform on pin 2 which is uh, linearly raising and uh, linearly uh, decreasing uh, it's about symmetric the waveform on the bad chip uh, we have linear raising of the voltage and abrupt um, going down back on the uh, negative voltage or well negative the less positive voltage actually so I believe uh, based on this uh, the chip must be bad because I don't think there is a possible uh, capacitor failure that does that I don't I don't think a uh, capacitor could fail in such a way to have symmetric asymmetric uh, discharge and uh, charge uh, based on the on the same current like the chip should uh, should do so we'll see when the when the replacement uh, chip uh, arrives because I didn't have any spare of uh, this uh, not very common chip. So the new part arrived and I also added the socket uh, like always do when there is no reason to not add the socket. So let's see if now the drives uh, behaves correctly. Okay, even before um, checking the actual speed I can tell that uh, the situation is different because I don't get always the 20 error but 27, 66, 27, 20 so let's see on the actual spinning drive okay the goal of course now the spindle speed is the minimum one that I tried to set with the bad chip so I should increase until the the pattern on the inner wheel remains still on the 50 Hz ok, uh, the speed is not really yet correct because the inner wheel pattern is still moving but really the reading of the disk is reliable enough so it doesn't give any error anymore uh, this means uh, the analog electronics of this drive is uh, very forgiving about uh, sp spindle speed variation but of course it's always best to make it uh, as close as possible to the right one Okay, now the inner pattern is uh, 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 quite still, it's not moving uh, uh, either forward um, or backwards, or well, it's moving, it's uh, really, really slow drifting, but as you have seen already, uh, when, when the speed was uh, still quite wrong the drive was able to, to read so this is the perfect uh, setting uh, as far as we can put this method of course if you live in a 60 hertz country you have to use the external um, pattern and uh, make it still not the internal one like I did in uh, my counter which has a 50 hertz line frequency okay so of course it's reading correctly 
no errors. So now all I have to do is um, assemble the drive again, mount the screw close, and that would be okay. Another uh, another try comes back to life. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, uh, was useful to see this process. See you next time. Thank you for watching.